Welcome ladies and gentlemen to yet another exciting edition. I am happy to be your host today and we will be talking about something very important and I'd like you to hit subscribe to like and to share this video. Thank you very much. So today we're trying to break the stereotype and the difficulty that foreign healthcare professionals have to go through in order to get into practice. I am bringing you several other options again today for you to just know that there's a lot out there that you want to do. It's better if you stop really doing all these crazy side hustles that are ridiculous for the kind of training and the kind of knowledge and intelligence that you have. Healthcare professionals being in the medical field, it's a very noble profession it's hard to get in it's lucrative and if you are in it you should be considered as one of the most valuable members of the society in which you live and so your services should be welcome and are really important so today we'll be talking about different part ways in terms of you bringing that extra knowledge that input to the functioning health system that we have here in North America. So I will start with um, a very important program that I think all healthcare professionals are qualified so long as you know you've gone through this, you're an undergraduate, you have a, a bachelor's degree, um, and you're looking for it with a master, with a doctorate degree, with a PhD and whatever, with an MD degree and you're here in North America and it's hard for you to get into this um, secret of having a license to practice your profession for which you were trained for in a foreign country there are many things that you can do and i'm gonna start with a very very important one and i'll give you details about it this is called socra and socra is a society of clinical research associate and um they offer online certification for clinical research professionals including research assistants in canada um and other branches that we're gonna see so socra is an internationally recognized organization that provides this educational certification for clinical research professionals and you don't have to worry I see a lot of people taking other programs and they pay ridiculous sums of money just to get a certification and which is not even guaranteed though it is a widely known organization that provides certificate for clinical researchers that rather than taking other courses to get clinical certification why not stay at home and do your SOCRA SOCRA is a test is an online exam that you take and then you have your certification you might have a couple of weeks of classes it's cheap it's less expensive it's less time consuming and it's taken remotely so you can do it from here from your home and you can be able to do your other activities while taking this program other um, certifications that are attached to it and I am giving the links in the description below if you need it just go to the description and click and you'll be able to find it so the first one apart from the SOCRA itself is research ethics board certification so this certification is required for individuals involved in research you know that are with human subjects many Canadian universities offer online training courses you know for you to be able to obtain this research ethics certification and um, there is more of this if you just go down to the description box and you click the link you can be able to find that so there is a research ethics board certification on the Canadian Association of Research Ethics Board you can be able to have this information and what it takes to do it and number two is a tri council policy statement certification this is also very important and this certification provides an overview of the ethical principles and guidelines for conducting um, research that involves human nowadays there's a lot of startups in North America and a lot of these are in the medical industry there is a projection that you know the medical industry is going to be worth billions and billions of dollars in the next two to three years and so there's a lot of medical engineers that are you know you know taking this opportunity and once they develop a device they need clinical trials so they need your support in order for them to get approval from the FDA or from Health Canada so the tri council policy statement certification will make you a valuable tool in supporting them in order to get their ethics approvals but this is really really important and so the tri Council policy statement certification is something required for you know individuals who are carrying out research here in Canada that is funded by Canadian Institute of Health Research, the Natural Science Engineering Research Council, and the Social Science and Humanitarian Research Councils. So all these people 
um, they will be able to fund research and so you can be able to support them if you have this certification and so the link again is in the description box you can follow it out and you get a lot more information third one which is I think is what a lot of us um, do out here as foreign trained healthcare professionals including physician is clinical research coordinator certification and a clinical research coordinator has a very vital role in terms of like the start of the clinical trial right till the end of the clinical trial you don't you don't have to worry if you've never done research in the past these are very easy things that if you've gone through any undergraduate program in medicine whether you're a nurse whether you're a laboratory technician whether you're a medical doctor whether you're a biomedical scientist a biologist a zoologist you will know these things very easily so you don't have to worry about it so clinical research coordinator certification is often um, offered by the association of clinical research professionals and provides training in the skills needed to coordinate a clinical research and um, someone who coordinates will work very closely with a principal investigator or the PI and you know make sure that patients are appropriately recruited or you know whatever if it's an animal study to make sure that it follows the ethics you know in terms of those who are working with animals and this is quite important and all of us as scientists anyone who did sciences should know about this one Number four, it is good clinical practice certification. Good clinical practice, or what you commonly hear all over called GCP, is really, really important because GCE tells you about, as the name goes, good clinical practices. So the good things that we're supposed to do as we conduct the clinical trial, and this is really, really very vital and important. So this certification provides training on the international ethics and scientific standards um, for conducting, designing, recording, and reporting clinical trials involving human participants. This is really important. You know, the process of taking consent before you administer a medication to someone, you have to ask for their permission and you have to explain everything everything that it takes in order for them to get that medication if they will have any side effect if um, you know there is any extra problems that they might have the benefits that they will have the potential risk that they might develop from taking that particular medication and telling them that they can decide to opt out not to continue it is their choice so you must give them all this information there is a certification for that Canada is looking for people who are qualified and who have these certifications and is really really important so i've left the link in the description box below you can check it out and you'll get more information on applying for this certification there is a link below and you can check it out and you can apply for it these certifications are not expensive a majority of them are not free but they're not really expensive they're way affordable compared to what you pay elsewhere just to get this certification and you're not guaranteed you have any position whereas if you get this and you put on your cv and you apply for any center for supporting clinical research i can guarantee you 90 percent of the time you will be accepted for the job or you will reach some level which is satisfactory to you and number five certification that i'm gonna say here is the project management certification i know there's a lot of things there um, people talk about project management however project management certification is really important because many research projects require good project managers and managers skills so the project management institute offers a range of online courses and certifications including project management professional certification and this is really important because managing a project are usually projects that are you know three four five years long and these are usually five ten million dollar projects and you know a good project manager is really needed to run things correctly to have you know to be the boots on the ground to make sure that everything is running well this is literally very important as it is it will help also in terms of you just getting a job which is very close to the medical field remember our target and our objective is to be as close as possible to what we really want to do if you want to be a practicing nurse you know a clinical research nurse an intensive care unit nurse a general nurse um, a laboratory technician which is said is who is certified if you want to be a physician um, a family doctor a specialist doctor a surgeon we need to be closer to this research institute because all of these different members or components that i've listed are usually involved in the research it's part of a team and a 
a physician, a nurse, someone who is not involved in research, just waste your time in the medical field and it's hard for them to really grow their career well you can grow but it's really important if you stick to you know making your clinical practice perfect by getting certification for foreigners who just move into north america this will help you a lot in terms of getting ready to brace the new system in which you're hoping to get into to start practicing this will bring you closer this will help you to know the research part of the whole world and then also help you to you know mingle with people get recommendations understand the way the system functions get publications peer review publications for yourself so all of this is really important and i really want to encourage you to look at this and to take this into account and not get discouraged out there with the negativity i still strongly advise and tell you to you know take this look at this and you will go so thank you very much for staying tuned and for connecting please like share subscribe see you in the next one